The vast, seemingly emptiness of space has been a topic of study for centuries. From sailors navigating their locations using the stars, to the most modern techniques and satellites we use to explore further into space. The research we undertake constantly gives us new insights, and sometimes as the public, we don't quite grasp the sheer significance of these results. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three exciting space discoveries made so far within 2020. Meteors that brushed Earth's atmosphere may have brought life to Venus. The focus of our research into space now seems to be heavily focused on discovering life. Aliens have frequented the plots of our science fiction for decades, but what scientists are looking for to confirm life is a little different from a green-looking alien. Scientists believe that the meteors that have brushed up against the atmosphere of Earth may have transferred life to Venus. Recently, Traces of phosphine have been detected within a cloud of Venus. This is an extremely significant discovery. On Earth, phosphine is a byproduct of life. Of course, the most exciting conclusion to draw would be that there's existing life on Venus, though this isn't particularly plausible. The suggestion instead, however, is that the phosphine has been transferred from Earth to Venus. The Department of Astronomy at Harvard hypothesized that the asteroids might have brushed by Earth's atmosphere, moving some microbes along with it. This would therefore explain their presence on the neighboring planets within our solar system. Currently, it's estimated that a minimum of 600,000 asteroids have been brushed by our Earth's atmosphere. Scientists have rightly pointed out that before we can attempt to explain what extraterrestrial life forms this may have resulted in, we must first figure out what's within the upper atmosphere of Earth. We know very little about this terrestrial life, but these microbes are being transferred around our solar system, such as within Venus's atmosphere, thanks to the asteroids grazing our planet's atmosphere. Researchers Amir Siraj and Abraham Loeb were the first to discover an asteroid that originated from outside our solar system in 2019. They suggested that due to the transferring of life between planets, the life on Venus and Earth may be similar or inherently indistinguishable. This idea, presumed by Siraj and Loeb that life on planet developed from life on another, is referred to as panspermia. Some even believe this may be how life on Earth began, and this phenomenon is happening continuously all throughout the universe. Panspermia suggests that this microbial life is the essential element in supporting and creating life. In 2019, NASA found some sugar molecules on two different meteorites. This provided further evidence for the idea that asteroids support celestial life. If we aim to continue this research, the exploration may have to start a little closer to home, investigating the microbial life within the Earth's upper atmosphere, at a staggering altitude of an estimated 85 kilometers. Perhaps the most puzzling aspect of this potential discovery is the climate of Venus. Previously, we've deemed Venus as a planet unable to support life. This is due to its extreme climate that it has within its atmosphere. Venus has a surface temperature of an overwhelming 864 degrees Fahrenheit. This is approximately 462 degrees Celsius. How could life function there? Venus sports the nickname of Earth's evil twin, with 40 active volcanoes on the surface, higher than any other celestial body within our solar system. In late 2019, NASA set out to explore Venus, working on a spacecraft to do so. If the probe discovers microbial life, the next series of actions will be to look at the relationship between that life and the altitude and climate of this bizarre planet. Some believe advancements in understanding Venus may aid in a manned mission to Mars. This truly is a revolutionary discovery that will undoubtedly shape the research and design of future space exploration. China's Chang'e 4 detects hazardous radiation levels on the moon. The Chinese moon probe Chang'e 4, named after the Chinese moon goddess, has reported shocking news. The levels of space radiation on the moon appear to be two to three times higher than those experienced on the International Space Station. This presents unprecedented danger for astronauts exploring the moon in the future. In January of 2019, Chang'e 4 made scientific history as the first soft landing on the far side of the moon. 
The Moon Probe provided radiation levels for the Chinese-German team for the full radiation exposure from the lunar surface. It was significantly higher than anticipated. Despite the height of the radiation levels, it's a huge achievement, and it advances our knowledge by exponential amounts. It can serve as a benchmark for radiation levels we measure elsewhere. Thomas Berger, a physicist with the German Space Agency Medicine Institute, says, We now have a better understanding of the risk of radiation to those on the moon. The 1960s and 97s Apollo mission, most notably Apollo 11, proved it safe for humans to spend a short number of days on the moon. However, NASA didn't record the daily radiation measurements. This means we couldn't determine the duration it would be safe for crews to stay. This new data, however, provided by Chang'e 4 changes that. We now know the radiation levels on our moon are 200 times higher than those on Earth. The explanation of such a high difference between the levels of radiation on the moon and the Earth is effectively due to the Earth's magnetosphere. The Earth is entirely within, the International Space Station is half submerged, and the moon is not within the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere deflects a large proportion of the radiation from space. This consequently lessens the radiation we experience on Earth. The radiation is produced from a variety of sources, some including the galactic cosmic rays, sporadic solar particle events, for example solar flares, as well as neutron and gamma rays. Radiation is measured in sieverts, which calculates the amount of radiation absorbed by our tissue. The moon appears to emit 1,369 microsieverts daily, 2.6 more than what the International Space Station crew experience on a day and 5 to 10 times higher than a flight from New York, USA to Frankfurt, Germany. NASA's Artemis missions claims to have individuals on the moon for a long-term period of time. This would be both living and working on the moon's surface by 2024. It's estimated that without additional measures in place, a human could only stay on the moon for two months, though an extended period would require protective measures to be implemented. An example of this measure could be an 80 centimetre wall of lunar soil built around habitats in order to shield humans from radiation. The further knowledge we have about radiation on the moon is revolutionary. We can ensure safer space travel and exploration, and find out more about the universe than ever before. 2020 Q6 Asteroid Amateur astronomer Leonardo Amaral spotted the 2020 Q6 asteroid on August 27, 2020. This was from an observatory in Brazil. The asteroid was incredibly large at 3,280 feet wide. It was considered to be a potential hazard, able to cause a global catastrophe had it hit Earth. Fortunately, it passed by Earth safely on Tuesday, September 10, 2020. The discovery of this near-Earth object was facilitated by an $8,500 grant. This was received from the Planetary Society in 2019 to fund better telescope equipment to allow for more accurate locating and tracking of near-Earth objects. Furthermore, the geographic situation was an advantage. This was due to the Southern Hemisphere offering a more unique and less often perceived vantage point. A significant amount of the sky surveys and equipment to pinpoint the location of asteroids can be found within the Northern Hemisphere, so this discovery highlights the importance of varied funding. Despite the sheer size and seemingly close proximity to the asteroid, it didn't truly pose a significant threat to Earth. The asteroid, whilst close enough to cause excitement when one considers the sheer size of space, was still more than 20 million miles away, a hundred times the distance between Earth and the Moon. The Planetary Society has commented on the increased number of asteroids that have been reported in the media. They reassure people that we have simply developed the technology to see and discover asteroids. But there's not an overwhelmingly increased amount. A chief scientist at the Planetary Society stated, There aren't suddenly more asteroids, we're just getting better at seeing them due to better technology. NASA and other space agencies continue to search for near-Earth objects. They even went as far as designing telescope equipment to specifically focus on this. The discovery of the 2020 Q6 being so close to Earth serves as a reminder as to the significance of ground-based astronomers, 
As well as the valuable research, data and intel we were able to retrieve without heading into space. The discovery of asteroids and near-Earth objects can seem frightening. After all, we all know what happened to the dinosaurs. But ultimately, finding any new scientific information is a huge step forward, especially when it's so close to home. From the potential discovery of new life, to locating asteroids that pass by us, 2020 has been a substantial year for astronomers. With advancing technology and more and more findings being added to existing data, we continue to make new discoveries, as well as conduct more exciting research. Will we find more evidence of microbial life? Will we find a way to stay on the moon long term? Space discoveries and explorations are never ending. And with new questions being posed all the time, research keeps evolving. What will we discover next? So what do you make of these recent space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community, whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.